Hi, I'm Mark Schaefer uh, at FPAC Studios here in the historic Loudoun uh, Machinery Company building, now known as, as the Broadway building, I guess. I'm joined by Ken Rowe, formerly of Fairfield. Uh, his mom and dad, uh, Tom and Jane Rowe, still live here. Uh, Ken is a former student of mine mm -hmm. when I taught elementary art at Lincoln School. And he's back for the holidays here at the end of 1999. He um, has an interesting story to tell. I've, I've heard a lot about what he's doing in claymation and sculpture from his uh, mother. Oh, I see her every once in a while, and she's more than willing to fill oh, me yes. in, just <laughs> bursting with pride. <laughs> so anyway, um, Ken, without further ado, we've not planned any of this. No. So it's all off the cuff. and. Sorry, Jane, but I can't remember anything you've told me about your son. Like, where do you live? Yeah, um, I'm in Portland, Oregon okay. right now. All right. I, I thought it was the Northwest. Yes. Yes. Where it rains and it's very green this time of year. Really? <laughs> oh, yes. The wow. moss is growing and trees. I mean, lot, there's a lot of green leaves. So you don't miss winter? In a way, yes. I mean, it's nice that uh, when we first arrived a couple days ago, it was 17 degrees. It was kind of fun for a day. Yeah, for a day. Yeah. <laughs> but that wears off. Well, we're, yeah, we're just yeah. used to it, so we're just happy that it is 17 degrees. That seems yeah. kind of warm. Yeah. Um, so you have you were a student at, at of mine at Lincoln School. This was like what, 1970-something? Oh, so, so probably would have been 1975, 76 yeah, through okay. 79, Okay. 80. All right, so yeah. it's been a while. Yeah. And then you went, of course, took art classes with Mr. Glocky at the high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you went to UNI yes. to school? Yes. Did you do all four years there, or did you transfer somewhere else? Um, I did. I first uh, went to Indian Hills. OK. Yeah. I went to Indian Hills to study under Richard Dutton. Ah, uh, wonderful man. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, yes. Great guy. And then I transferred to UNI. OK. All right. Yeah. It's all coming back. OK. And some of you may remember his uh, one-man show at the Art Center when it was located in the basement of the old library. Um, the, the piece that stands out in my mind is the, the tribute to James Dean. Yes. With the, with the bumper. Was it, was it the actual, the kind of car that he was killed in? Yeah, yeah. Which was? It was a, a 1955 Porsche Spider. And you actually found a bumper? Well, it wasn't an actual bumper. It was actually a, a relief. Oh, you yeah. sculpted under, it? Under, yeah, underneath there was a relief of the car. OK, of, all right. But I remember yeah. a big bumper. Um, well, the, the uh, that felt kind of like a bumper. I mean, it was okay, a separate thought, gray. All right. Well, anyway, it was yeah. this neat triptych with with James Dean and his childhood home. And what was the other piece? Uh, the it highway? was the cross section of where he was killed. Okay. All right. So it was a interesting piece. And there were some portraits and just kind yes. of fantastic it, little characters that are reminiscent of what you're doing right now. Yeah. Yeah. So then for a while you did, didn't you make targets for yeah. like Archery practice or mm -hmm, something? Mm -hmm. I worked for Delta Industries. Okay, so what, what did that entail? Oh, that uh, um, entailed just sculpting animals, you know, animal forms for okay. the use of archery targets. Okay. Because you know, they were they're mass produced in, in foam. Okay. And so it kind of caused me some, dis some distress knowing that I might be contributing to the death of oh, thousands well. of animals, but then I started to decide to look at it oh, as well. maybe I'm saving animals. There you go. Shoot, shoot the there targets you go. instead. There you go. Yeah, this, this kind of touches on the uh, controversy this time of year with my students at the high school, the vegetarians versus the hunters. Oh. It gets pretty nasty. I bet. Everybody has their little agenda, and nobody wants to see the other person's point of view. But mm -hmm. that's another story. That's, that's, a, that's right. another program. <laughs> yeah. We could have a real face-off. Um, so you did that for a while, and that was here in Iowa? Yes. Yes. Okay, and then what took you to the Northwest? Um, you majored in sculpture, by the way. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But um, you knew that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Well, you know, I've you know, always been interested in the human form, uh -huh. which is what you know. I, this is what I studied at, studied you know, intensely at you and I. Okay. Um, but um, what brought me to the Northwest was um, graduate school. Um, That's right. I yes. remember. Okay. Yeah. Decided that. It's uh, so funny. It's like, oh yeah, I've heard this before. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear your mom talking in my ear right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I can always hear her voice. <laughs> But that's another story itself. It's a, it's a good thing, Jane. It's a yeah. good thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, my wife and I decided that we would like to be in the Northwest. Okay. Um, and when I was you know applying to schools, <clears throat> um, University of Oregon was one of them, and 
yes, and if I was asking for references from the University of Northern mm -hmm. Iowa, you know, I was saying, you know, I'm applying to this school, this school, this school, University of Oregon, and the head of the department was like, oh, Ken, that's the perfect, you want to study under Paul Buckner, I'll give you a great recommendation. So and did it work? Oh, it was great. Good. Oh, yeah, yeah, Good. yeah. He was a, you know, excellent teacher, of, you know, of the human form. Mm -hmm. you know, he knows anatomy backwards and forwards, mm -hmm. inside and out. And uh, I learned a lot underneath them. Neat, yeah. neat. That's great. Um, and your wife is a photographer? Yes. And she taught at Truman State for a while? Yes, she taught at Truman State for a year, for one year, two years ago. Okay, okay. So, and she's still taking pictures, I imagine? Yeah, yeah. A lot of her art um, has expanded into kind of the multimedia okay. area. And uh, though she's, uh, kind of, she's trying to get in, you know, she's doing a lot more digital work right now. You know, okay. Because, you, know, you know, she's interested in it, and also a lot of the teaching jobs, photography teaching jobs are requiring. Okay. So there's moving away from the dark room and. Right, okay. right. Okay. So right now you are working where? Um, I am, uh, well, as, well. <laughs> or have we skipped some jobs? Were there other jobs you need to hear about? Oh, no. Well, I worked, when we first moved to, you know, after school at Eugene, uh, yeah, in Eugene, um, we decided we were to move to Portland since that's what you seem to do when, after you graduate from Eugene, you go to Portland. Okay. Um, got a job at a foundry, at a bronze foundry. Um, and I, that's where I learned that I should not work in a bronze foundry. Okay. And, uh, um, but, um, but it got us into Portland. And from there, um, I was, I was preparing an application for Will Vinton Studios. Okay. You know, as a sculptor and as well as anything. Okay, and this is a claymation outfit? Yeah, yeah, they're primarily known for their claymation. Though they are actually right now doing very little of that. I mean, they're, they're the guys who did the California Raisins. Mm -hmm. They produce the PJs right okay. now on, you know, on, on another network, um, Fox. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that or not. But you can say that. Okay, on Fox. Um, <laughs> you know, plus, they've done uh, you know, many other Oh, another network than this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought you meant like another network from what they usually work with. Oh, oh yeah. All right, no, okay. No, they're working. Well, you flatter us. No, you're <laughs> Big time. I try. So, but, uh, um, yeah, they, they do a lot of commercials. You know, that's kind of like the primary, well, before the PJs, that's primarily what they, you know, how they generate the, the income. Okay. Well, you have a little um, example of, yeah. of some claymation you did for... See, I never saw this on. I, I hardly ever watch network television. Yeah. So I have not seen this. So I'm. Yeah. Well, it, it was actually airing for three or four weeks before I realized it was. Really? Yeah. They didn't tell me. It was just. And and what, what are we talking about here? Uh, we're talking about on, for Fox, NFL football. Okay. Um, there are the four commentators: Terry Bradshaw, mm -hmm. Harry Long, a couple other guys. Okay. Um, and they did some... That's another reason I didn't see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. football, yeah, because <laughs> I had to force myself to watch it Not too. a high priority, <laughs> I'm afraid, okay. Yeah. Um, I feel it's kind of ironic that I was sculpting for these guys. Yeah. Um, but there are these, uh, there are some uh, <clears throat> animated spots um, featuring the four commentators. And um, I, uh, I sculpted uh, initially well, I sculpted Terry Bradshaw. Okay, well, let's you know, see the him. first one. Let's see him. And this is the... Uh, okay, we've got to tip this just right so the yeah. camera can catch it. Yeah, these, these are just the uh, approval Polaroids that once we, you know, we, we work on the head a little bit, they snap a couple pictures. Okay, let's, do, you know, let's get the next view. Yeah. This is just... It's a three-quarter view. Yeah. I think you need to tip it forward a little bit. Forward. Okay. And... Um, they would, uh, yeah, and then they would fax these to the clients okay. and get their approval. So and they'd say, did Bradshaw have to approve this? Apparently he would, yeah, they, they showed it to him. They wow. wanted to make sure that they were happy with their likenesses. Okay. And apparently he was pretty uh, agreeable. Okay, you need to get one of these autographed. Oh, I'd love to. That'd be yeah. neat. Yeah, well, the, the Anybody out there that knows Terry Bradshaw, we'd, we'd like, <laughs> like, like some help here. Yeah. Yeah, well, those are neat. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was, it was, a, it was a challenge because it was actually, it's apparently a, Terry Brash, I was pretty happy with some of the first drafts. Uh -huh. um, it was more the uh, directors and producers that, you know, I think his nose is a little 
too bulby in this mm -hmm. one. His mm -hmm. head's a little too bald in this version. So we just, you know, it's kind Play of, with it, yeah. it was a week of going back and forth, yeah. you know. So your, your anatomical studies really pay off for something like this. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you really have to understand how, how many muscles are in the face. You have to understand how those move. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't give you any numbers. a lot, I mean, it's like, the, just for a smile, it's an incredible number. Right, right. So that's great, well, you obviously know your stuff. So you have, um, are you done? Talking about that? Well, yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's all I have. Well, just, all I have for right anybody now. that hasn't, like myself, for anybody that hasn't seen that feature, what happens? Um, or on one of them? Well, like the very first one they showed, it was, <clears throat> oh, the four are grouped in, you know, um, well, they're standing around behind their desk, mm -hmm. and Terry Bradshaw basically says, you know, something, 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 um, you know. You know we're on Fox. Basically, we're on Fox, and everything on Fox's animation. Soon they're going to animate us. And then he slaps one of the other commentators in the back. His eyes pop out of his head, roll around yeah. on the floor, and then. Uh, oh, so this is live action shot in the beginning. No, no, this, well, is, yeah, this okay, is yeah, right. this is actual yeah, okay, animation. Right. And then, okay. then Thurgood Stubbs from the, the PJs comes by, sweeping up, and says, "Somebody threw away a perfectly good pair of eyeballs." <laughs> you know, it's, all right, just kind of getting down and dirty there. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see some of the other uh, color photocopies you have. Okay. And you had, this is a little presentation binder you had? Uh, yeah, it's a press kit. Press kit. Had, yeah. okay. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance I to I knew there was official let's, read through Let's just do one at a time because okay. we need to be able to see through them. All right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. This is a... Uh, We've got this little technique all mapped out here. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to demonstrate it here in a minute. Yeah. All right, so what is this all about? Yeah, this is just the, uh, the cast of the PJs, which is a show that... Um, Will Vinton Studios produce in Portland, Oregon. Okay. And um, yeah. so, what, what's the name? Of, what's this character right here? That is, um, I believe his name is Jimmy Ho. He's a Korean um, bus driver, I think. Okay. Um, so I've never watched this either. So I, yeah, it's I, like I, I'm really out of sync. Yeah, well, I feel over the back because I've. Okay. And I these are trees, right? Yeah. And a window. All right. Yeah, this is a set. So yeah. that's, is that all we need to know? Oh, uh, pretty much. Is I guess it, you say that. Is it kind of like Rugrats, or in, in, but street-wise, grown up? Kind of, kind okay. of. I mean, it's, it's Eddie Murphy produced. Eddie okay. Murphy provides the voice of Thurgood, who is the, um, main, is the right main character, okay. the, you know, the uh, okay. superintendent of the, these projects. Okay, so it's yeah. like kind of ghetto stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's kind of like good times. In in inner city. Yeah, and uh, you know, so the puppets are themselves are about, oh, about a foot tall. So you actually so. consider these figures puppets? Yes, yes. Oh, see, yeah. I never thought of that before. Just, yeah. So what kind of clay? It's like a plasticine? Or? Actually, these puppets, you know, like I said, they are, Wilvent Studios has gone away a lot from claymation, I mm -hmm. think, because, you know, um, it's time consuming mm -hmm. and, i.e., expensive sure. to do, because every time you do a frame, you got to re, it's not just repositioning the puppet, you have to re sculpt. Yes. You know, um, and since so, they've gotten into a weekly show, they need many, many sure. animators, and they can't just you know teach everybody to right. sculpt. So you, so. this picture right here, we have what? Yes, that's a get a close up on that picture. Yeah, that's uh, somebody working on all the mouths. Um, the the head, the way these puppets speak, is so that these these are the mouths for one character? Yes, uh -huh. I, I, be, I believe that's yeah. It's it's okay. every puppet has pretty much that many mouths. Um, the heads are uh, are cast resin, and okay. the mouth is just a blank area. And then, in order to enunciate, um, they have a tr you know a tray of different mouths for different sounds. You know, for a long a, short a. Wow, that's you neat. Know, vowels, consonants, expressions, and and then, like in their case, they have a left and a right specific, you know, mouth. Oh my gosh. So. Um, I mean, so yeah, so the mouths are, are quite involved. So what's happening in this shot right here? Is in that shot, that is somebody uh, taking a frame. Okay, so he's looking in the camera right here. Right. And here's the character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, and it's the way that's done is they have. It's just like a stop action kind of. Yeah. All right. Yeah. They have, so do they put the backgrounds in later? No, actually, those they actually have little sets, you know, okay. all built. I mean, a lot, a lot of it is done. Like the wider shots are done with computer animation. Okay. Um, and so, because they do less claymation, are you out of a job? Um, 
Not so much. I mean, actually, uh, there was a new show that's being produced that will be released. They'll be out this summer mm -hmm. called Gary and Mike. And, um, and you have some uh, mock-ups for that. We yeah. can see later. We'll look at those okay. later, but remind me. Yeah, yeah like, and it's a new show. Yeah, it's a new show. I was, I was hired on primarily as, or initially as a sculptor. You know, okay. to sculpt some of the characters' heads and, and other props and body parts. And it's amazing what you know, what actually needs to get done. Sure. Oh, yeah. And, and also I had to sculpt a lot of, yeah, they work the same way as far as the heads go, you know, with the blank mouth area. And mm -hmm. I had to sculpt, for three weeks I sculpted little tiny mouths. And it, it took me, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to sculpt the mouth. So it, <laughs> and there were oh, four or five of us working on wow. these that, you know, straight. So is it real hard to be consistent, one sculptor to the next? Um, that's, yeah, there are some, you know, you have to make sure, watch out for inconsistencies because there are some sculptors that have been there for a lot longer and have been there <laughs> since the claymation. And the claymation sculpting uh, style is a much rougher, um, broader, than it used to be. Style, yeah. The, you know, rather than you know, uh, you know, rather than finely sculpting something, mm -hmm. you know, like the raisins were. Those are pretty finely sculpted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even, even those are pretty rough. I are they? I okay. found out. I mean, because uh, to catch the light and, um, I mean, these are animators. I think that kind of learned sculpting. Mm -hmm. You know, versus sculptors learning animating to animate. Okay. Which was All right. My situation. Okay. Sure. Interesting. So what's going on down here? Um, that is uh, one of the one of the guys in uh, the puppet hospital. That you know, he's just uh, fi helping to fix up um, Thurgood. Because uh, these puppets are they have a a ball and socket metal armature inside. Okay. Um, it's you know finely you know finely machined and you know they're they're, they're pretty. Um, what was the word accurate? Um, you know pre precision okay. oriented. Okay. And then they're, you know, and those are put in a mold and encased in foam rubber. Okay. And, and the, the foam rubber deteriorates. The foam rubber yeah. deteriorates, yeah. Because, uh, yeah. Okay. After a few shots, you know, sometimes, you know, they'll, they'll develop rips and, sure. you know, paint will tear. So do they have to replace the rubber completely or do they, they Eventually. patch it? Even, yeah, they'll patch it as long as they can. Mm -hmm. um, then the puppets you know then, then eventually it just gets beyond the point of repair and it just it just looks scabby yeah and so they just just take razor blades cut cut the the skin off and put you know fix the fix up the armature and put it back in the mold and they'll inject more foam and does the company have an archive where they they keep examples of different projects yes okay. yes they, they have a library of um of all their of not just their stuff you know like mm -hmm. and, and uh will Vinton has been doing Animation for 25 years. 1974, I think he won an Oscar for a short called uh, "Closed Mondays." And uh, but he's been doing a lot of commercials and and uh, and like I said, you know, the California raisins were the apparently the big thing mm -hmm. that really mm -hmm. projected him mm -hmm. you know, into the limelight. And uh, but do they have? But now when you talk about copies, these are just the videos. Do they actually keep the figures themselves? They, yeah, they have a lot. Yeah, they do some of yes, that too. Yes, yes. I'm not sure exactly how legalities work, but you know, but they maintain. Mm -hmm. You know, they you know retain all the figures. Yeah. Although I, I would think that foam wouldn't. I would think it would disintegrate after a while. Yeah. Yeah. I think so a lot that, of it that'd does. be a problem. Yeah, oh there, well. There, there are a lot of the, a lot of the clay figures that are laying around from is, um, and it's amazing because they had a lot of these figures in cases, and I was when mm -hmm. I first went there, I had no idea exactly what they did, and I was bowled over because like, oh my gosh, I've. Saw that commercial. Yeah. I saw that TV wow. show. And okay, so that's neat. That's yeah. neat. Yeah. Because I know you hear stories about oh Warner Brother cartoons cleaning house and dumping thousands and thousands of animation cells into the you know trash. Yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. that's why they're valuable today because they're, they're so, ma <laughs> so many are gone. Yeah. But yeah, that's neat. Let's see what you have on your next yeah. piece. This is just uh, some more. Production shots, you know, uh, behind-the-scenes shots. Okay, so this guy, this is a little set. Right. And what's this guy doing? Um, he looks like he's positioning all the puppets. Do you think the audience has figured out how we're doing this? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't think we should tell. Oh no, no, no all right. not. So he's just positioning a shot, it. and then are these basically all that? Um, yeah. This this seed in the lower half 
uh, lower left hand corner, I think it's, or lower right hand corner, I don't know. Be there lower would, right hand corner. Lower, yeah. lower right hand yeah. corner, okay. Uh, that's the, uh, some of the model department. Okay. You know, that's, uh, you know, she's working on a, the manhole cover, manhole cover that appears in the opening credits. Oh. Yeah. And, um, so that's significant. Yeah. And, uh, so what are the sets made out of? A balsa wood or plastic? Um, or they're made... Combinations of materials? Combinations. Uh, they're made basically with uh, thin plywood. Okay. And then like the, for wallpaper, they actually have, you know, big computer printers that will print out. So you can um, scan in stuff if you want to. Right. And, uh, you know, and then they just, you know, you know paste this to the, to, to the walls. And the floors are a wire mesh or a steel mesh, kind mm -hmm. of. Um, and the puppets are then held in place by, by really strong magnets. Oh, okay. Yeah, which is, which is something, something I didn't realize cool. before. Like in the joints themselves or just on the feet? Oh, just the feet. They hold, okay. hold them in place because then as they, as they walk, you know, they can you know, move a magnet from one foot to another. So they move the magnet underneath? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, okay. Because yeah, so it, it, it makes the, uh, otherwise the figure has to, to be screwed down, which yeah. yeah, they have little holes in their feet where you can punch holes in the floor to put a screw up uh -huh. there, and, which is time consuming. Oh, yeah. The magnet just pop it in and he's you there. Just move him around. Oh, that's right. neat. Okay. Right. Great. Now, what else do you have? You have um, the big, the big uh, three quarter inch tape. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, which we can't show. Unfortunately. <laughs> the uh, yeah, Ken did bring some examples of the NFL <laughs> spots that will air after this interview segment. And he brought this too. This is a three quarter inch tape that we just don't have the equipment here at FPAC. Yeah, what am I saying we? I'm not part of this outfit. I'm, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just a talking head. Anyway. Um, it's kind of an example of, like, kind of, of all the stuff that has been produced at the studio. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like the, uh, there was a commercial with a GI Joe, yes, for Nissan a few years ago. A GI Joe and his, um, Get, pops in this little remote control Nissan car oh, and drives oh, around you guys the house. Did that? Yeah, they did that. Even. I didn't do it. And he picks up Barbie or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and leaves Ken distraught. That was pretty funny. Yeah, that was yeah. good. Yeah, that was good. So I was, I was so really impressed that they did Did they that. have to um, get uh, filming rights from Mattel for Barbie? Um, I believe since, I believe they sculpted that figure from scratch. Okay. Therefore, it's, you know, there's no... Yeah, the Barbie name isn't used, so, okay. I mean, so it's it's like, it could be any anonymous so Barbie doll. It's like doll. Andy Warhol doing a Campbell's soup can or a Brillo box. It's sort of a... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's neat. Yeah. So they also produce um, M &M, the M&M &M spots. Okay. Yeah, those are all computer animated. All right. So yeah. does that predate your time there? Um, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah they've, they've been doing those spots for quite a few years. So that's all computer. It's all computer. Okay. Yeah. In fact, that's that they do a yeah. There's a um, their computer department is is growing, and uh, I mean, they've uh, I mean, they've actually done. Let's see, they do the uh, Hershey Kiss commercials. Okay. Um, I'm drawing a blank now. But yeah, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, are they like the number one? animator for this type of thing in the country or are there other there are, major companies that do this yeah there are other big companies but i think will Vitton is the biggest studio mm -hmm. for um dimensional animation you know okay. for using puppets oh, dimensional animation that's yes, a good, what, okay that's a nice to way to say it so how long have they been calling it that um because i still think of it as claymation question. that's a good question yeah um I don't know how long that they've been using that term because a lot of because like from the for the PJs since they're made out of foam, now they're using the term foamation. And, <laughs> you know, which, I mean, which I think is kind of funny because yeah. it's, like, it's, it's a pretty old technique. Sure. You know, or old. I mean, they've been making foam puppets with armatures. You know, forever. King Kong. Yeah. Yeah. Was one. The Muppets probably. The Muppets. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's weird. Well, people yeah. like to feel special, I guess. Yeah. Now you had a you had a uh, folder with the new show that's coming out. Yeah, there's Some a little mock-up drawings. Yeah, actually, this is the um, the studio. Or do you want? To... Yeah, this is good. This is the studio um, 
zine magazine, okay. I guess what. Yeah. Um, and um, so and end up. Do you get Do you get a free subscription or do you have to pay for it? Oh, it's it's free. I mean, like you walk okay. in, take one. Okay. <laughs> you know, right. and generally, uh, you know, when you're when you are working there, you have a mailbox, and when it comes out, every, you know, everybody gets it's one. It's just the newsletter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, did, the newsletter. That's, I just didn't know if the, they were predatory and trying to get every penny out of you they could. Or yeah. Oh no, there, that was, it that's was actually. Nice. It's a great place to work, actually. Because yeah. Every Friday. Well, that's they what have your a party. mom said. Yeah. They have, yeah, yeah, well, they she didn't tell me about the party, but she said it, you really liked the people. Oh yeah, yeah. People are great. I mean, very laid back. Yeah. Said and every Friday, yeah, they'd have, I mean, bring in some food, beer, soda, and uh, knock off a half hour early. Still get paid for it. Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, that's nice. Very generous. Very generous. I like yeah. it a lot. So what's what's inside this little uh, um, publication? Oh, see, it's just um, news about from about people. Um, like who has a baby or yeah, who has like, a baby? I like okay. uh, there's an article here. One of our vice presidents of production has been ill, and just you know, it's kind of an update on his okay. condition. So down down here, are the two uh, protagonists for the new show. Yes, those are the uh, concept drawings, or some of the concept drawings okay. for Gary and Mike. All right, uh, which are they are two recent college a college graduate age guys who go out on the on the road to find America. Okay. Um, but that's been done. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but not but like this. It's always fun to do it again, I guess. <laughs> that's right. right. Yeah. And, yeah, one of them's nerdy, uptight, the other one's laid back and okay. slacker. You know? Okay. And um, just has too good a time all the time. Yeah, yeah. And apparently, at everybody else's expense. Yes. Oh, yes. You know who you are out there. <laughs> I could name names, but I won't. <laughs> and uh, so, because originally, originally the concept of the show was to be live action. Okay. But since there are so many locales involved in the show, that currently <clears throat> the cost would have just been far too prohibitive. Mm -hmm. And then they looked at animation mm -hmm. as as another venue for it and that's the that's the route they took well what if they took their puppets on location which well actually did, did they ever do that not re not really because um the sets that are required for the for the puppets i mean it, well, yeah, it, you can't put magnets under the grand canyon yeah okay. yeah though okay. though it's actually it. it's actually very similar to that though they um they will take photographs of actual backgrounds you know of actual mm -hmm. places and you know through computers, you know, scan them out, and so okay. so the backgrounds are 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 photographs, are realistic photographs. Okay. So it and, uh, fools the eye. Yes. All right. And it's amazing because I mean, it's uh, <clears throat> these are just cutouts placed, you know, flat perpendicular to the camera lens, mm -hmm. and um, it looks like it's. I mean, it looks real. It looks like it's. But that's like some of the old Disney uh, layering of. Yeah. Moving, in the animation process yeah yeah so this is just an update exactly like that probably a lot of techniques that are like you say old yeah it's very in fact I was um, I would have thought of it would have been far more sophisticated mm -hmm. of techniques had I seen it before so it's, still, it's, it's low tech it's very low tech because okay, you you know you always talk about you always hear people talking about the computer revolution yeah and how it's gonna make artists obsolete but it's just another tool it, it will change the artist it will mm -hmm. change a lot of the world I don't think it's going to make them obsolete mm -hmm. um, it's just a different way of right putting yeah. in your eight hours right right you know perhaps there'll be a few I mean like the guys who made buggy whips you know yeah. there are you know there are still a few out there doing that it's just that there aren't just not too many yeah there just isn't a call for yeah. it so so anything else of significance in here oh it's not a full Let's color say. publication is it no yeah it's just, you know, it's just a kind of a inner inner company Okay, and that is, can I keep you posted about what's coming as far as projects and right, right. Whereas like um, the Gary and Mike show, it's uh, they have six episodes in the can, you know, fully produced, and there was an option to do two more. Uh huh. And apparently, unfortunately, since Fox is having <clears throat> a bad season, they decided not to pick up on this option. Mm -hmm. You know, to, for these last. So two did episodes. Fox commission them? Did Fox have writers that? made this concept and wrote scripts and then your guys bid yeah, for the job not, or how does that work? I'm not exactly sure. I know that there are uh, the creators of the show, um, well gosh, I can't remember the last names. It's Fax and Adam, these two guys. Okay. 
And apparently it's their concept. It was their idea for the show. And I think then they approached Fox to about, about producing the show. And um, then I think once the decision to animate it was made, um, I think I'm sure that the um, other studios, in fact, I know there was another studio that put a bid out, but they just did not have the facilities in order to handle such a massive production. And then Will Vinton then inherited the show. It's just, yeah, so it, it's just a lot, a lot going on out there. Yeah, and I'm learning a lot about, about the biz. Yeah, oh, I bet. Yeah, and, I it's, bet. It's, and it's interesting. I bet. Yeah, these are some, yeah. some other, <clears throat> here's some more stills you know, from the show. Which yeah, and I'm not sure how well those will show up on camera. But, yeah. you know, this, this gives us a nice idea of what the company, uh, Mag, is, I feel funny saying Zine. Yeah, yeah, me too. It it's, sounds it's, like one of those goofy, I mean, do people actually say that? Not really, I don't. The zines are in your mailbox? Oh, I can't imagine. I, no, I haven't really heard that. Right. It's a little too hip for me. Is it? Yeah, Z. It's, it's oh. a magazine. It's a newsletter. There you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Nothing uh, like that good Midwestern honesty, you know? Yeah. No, yeah it's, no pretense. So speaking of the Midwest, are there a lot of people from the Midwest that have immigrated out there? Yeah, there are uh, quite a few. I met a couple guys from Iowa at the studio. So not everybody in Oregon is from Iowa. Like, oh, no. Because you, know, you always say everybody in California was born in Iowa. Yeah, yeah. So... In fact, right now there's a seems like seems like everybody. In fact, I'd say majority of people that I talk to are from out of state. Yeah. Are not are not natives. Yeah. And uh, neat. Well, I know my brother lives in Maine, and there are fewer and fewer native maniacs all the time. Oh yeah. Yeah. People yeah. come in, but um, I was going to ask you too. I my I, I was kind of rec trying to recollect the kind of work you did when you were say in fifth grade. Yeah. And I can remember all those those pale, pale, intricate little pencil drawings, tiny stuff. And it just drove me nuts. I mean, they were delightful, but it <laughs> drove me nuts because it was a watercolor project and I just knew you were gonna balk at the idea of painting all that because there's no way you could get the detail. Right. Um, and I can remember being, having different expectations of you because you were so focused. Um, you've obviously gotten away from just pencil. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was that a kind of a long process for you? I mean, was color a hard, was was going into color and maybe a bolder, more slapdash, broader approach, uh, was that a hard transition for you? Um, it wasn't very, it wasn't hard. It, it was happen? different. Okay. Um, it's something that I have <laughs> not really, I mean, for a while, for several years, I know th through the t my time at Indian Hills, mm -hmm. I was painting. And which is when I, when where I uh, really learned about, you know, really expanded my color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Dutton is really good at that. Yes. He's excellent. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I can remember he told me, he told me one thing, and I forget, forget what, what it was, but just, I happened to show him a painting one time, and he told me one thing, and it just blew my mind open. I mean, it's like, I, oh, yeah, I just went down a whole new avenue, and it wasn't that big of a deal, but just a real basic concept. Something about yeah. color. I forget what it was. Yeah. But I know for me, uh, when I learned to draw with a brush, mm -hmm. that helped. Yeah. And when I learned to draw with color, you get away from that, well, it's got to be a black line first and then you color it. Right. You know, that whole right. thing. And working with transparent layers of color, um, that helped because then you, you don't have to worry about losing those wonderful initial strokes of the pen or the, or, or the brush mm -hmm. because you can still see them through the subsequent layers. So. I just wondered if you had similar. Yeah, it was. Oh, what's uh, the word I want? Epiphanies. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, in fact, when I started graduate school, I mean, I, and I, th I think I'm more natu naturally more of a drawer than mm -hmm. I am a painter. Mm -hmm. Though I'm trying to, I feel like I need to get back and you know doing some more color. Mm -hmm. But my first semester at U at University of Oregon, I took a drawing class. I hadn't had one in a few years. Mm -hmm. And I went with my tablet and my pencil, and um, my instructor, I mean, just like, you know, fine, okay, first day, you know. But, yeah, it's, it's what I was comfortable with. Sure. And so, but he finally, he was one of those guys who was going to come up and kick you in the butt and, you know, just say, you know, here, you know, try this charcoal, get a big piece of paper. Yeah. And um, he was somebody who really just, you know, just 
Well, you had to kick me in the butt and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yeah. made me realize. So, you know, it ch changed things. And yeah. Changed the way yeah. I think and helped me see things differently. And as a high school teacher, it's hard for me to know how hard to kick because you can really turn kids off. Yeah. Because comfort zones, I think, for a high school kid is, is real important. Yeah. But at the same time, you want to try to stretch them. So, exactly. That's the, that's the balancing act. Well, you have a little um, show and tell to cap this off, I believe. Yeah. I mean, I'm the wrong person sitting here. I was yeah. supposed to be Susan Kessel. <laughs> so this has kind of ruined everything for Ken. Yeah. I think he's handling it pretty well. Yes. So I, I can do a stress in my life. So that's good. Yeah. That's well, I want to see. Stress. We all want to see what you've done yes. here. This is wonderful. Yeah, this is a little. A little. Uh, it's little Susan. Little token. Is that a for Susan and? That's and great. Tour. <laughs> that's great. We'll turn it so we can so, get okay. a. A, uh, but yeah, so it's kind of kind of in the same style as what we're doing at at the studio uh, of, the, of the NFL yeah. characters, which is kind of someplace in between. She does look like Terry Bradshaw. And, I, yeah. never, I never noticed that before. Well, if you take the hair off, then yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> we could do that right now if you like. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll start but, calling her Terry. Yeah, but yeah, that's neat. Well, that's charming. I'm sure she'll love it. She'll love it, and hopefully she'll see this before uh, it airs. Yeah. So, uh, again, this has been a delight. Oh, it's been it's, great. It's nice to see you again. Yeah. And uh, I see that your mother's assessment of your life is trustworthy and, and to mm -hmm. be depended upon. So mm -hmm. that's good too. Yeah, and I think. Uh, and you don't look like your dad with your coat off. Oh, I thank you. Thank you. I'm starting to look more yeah. like him every day. Yeah. <laughs> Ken walked through the door. I thought, oh, it's Tom with hair. Yeah. <laughs> So we didn't get off to a very good start, but I think oh, it's it, fine. He's, he's forgiven me now, I can yes. tell. Yeah. So anyway, this is Mark Schaefer from FPAC with Ken Rowe. Um, Foamation, claymation, plasticine-mation, <laughs> sculptor extraordinaire. Jack of all trades. Jack of all trades, master of many, I hope. Yeah. And uh, at the end of this segment, like we said earlier, there will be uh, the Terry Bradshaw sequences that, that uh, Ken worked on. Yeah, So and then I also did. John Rand John Madden okay. and John Randall. And yeah. That's good. There's a couple other guys that I worked on. That's good. So, so were, was your name on any credits? Uh, there are no credits on, on the show. Oh, rats. Though, well, we're, give, the, we're giving him credit now, folks. Yeah, thank you. You heard it here on FPAC, yeah. Channel 9, Fairfield, Iowa. Thanks for watching. Fox returns this fall. Great clip, but I'm surprised they use real footage. Yeah, everything else on Fox is animation. Next thing you know, they'll animate us. I'd be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Somebody threw away a perfectly good pair of eyeballs. <laughs> Hey, Howie, switch seats with me. No way. Come on, I've got the scoop on the Arizona-Dallas game. I should be in the middle today. Why don't you guys arm wrestle for it? Okay. Chris, are you sure that... Go! Ah! <gasps>
Oh, you see? No, that's an air attack. This is going to turn into a fist fight. You know it is. John Randall, what's the key to the Packer Niner game? Two words, game tackling. Chris, take the ball. <clears throat> Banzai! Oh, game tackling! Yeah. Zone guard! Boom! Dog pile on Terry! <laughs> Allie! Yeah. How he's talking on the phone with Dion. I can just hear him on the air. But what you guys don't know is that Dion's taking this one personally, and that will make a huge difference today. Wow, you are good. It's scary. What's scary? Ah! 